Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Donna Just Being Real. My channel is about dating, love, relationships, and toxic relationships. Advice channel. Okay, so we're going to um get back into this Darrell Brooks Jr. again. Yeah, but today we're going to be focusing on the mother and her response to this whole thing. So we're going to listen to see what she has to say about her son, the sewer rat. Okay, so I'm going to play some couple of clips and then I'm going to also show some videos. It's all right. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for yesterday. I was supposed to do this yesterday evening and I didn't. And I truly apologize to the ones that was here and it was waiting for it and it didn't happen. So I apologize for that. All right, so let's get into it now. So I'm going to show this first clip here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. And make sure everybody there, like, subscribe and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Tell me what do you think about this whole thing and make sure you vote. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you to the people that has been supportive watching this and because this was a whole mess. I mean, this man was a true clown in the judge, in the courtroom. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's get into the video. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty a first degree intentional homicide as charged in count two of the information. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. Burn in hell, you piece of shit. Hey, you are to be removed right now. We will not do that. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count three of the information. And I should state as to count two, it was signed and dated by the four person, same as to count three. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We the jury find the, we, the, jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree. Do you blame the person in the background being upset? Not at all. Because mm -hmm. it's probably a little sick and tired of all this craziness and everything. Just sick and tired of it. All right. And Challenger, sorry about yesterday, but glad to have you. And BG, hugs and kisses to you, beautiful. And good morning. Yeah, good morning to you and good afternoon on my end. Donna, he looks like the Cheeto, Cheetos Cheetos. Oh, my gosh. He sure does. All right. So we're going to get into uh, another clip here. All right, let's show uh, another clip here. Yeah, we're going to get into his mother. Well, man, first, let me just read this article real quick. After I read the article, then I'm going to show you the next clip, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Right. Back to Sewer Rat and his moms. Okay, let me just read this, um, this, this article right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. This article came out in Fox 6. And this came out, uh, what was it published? October 26, 2022. Updated, updated 10, 17. Hmm, okay. All right, let me get to this article. Wilkinshaw, Wisconsin, Dawn Woods, Darrell Brooks' mother, spoke with Fox 6 News in the hours, just hours after Wichita County jury convicted her son on 76 counts of murdering six people and injuring more than 60 people in the Wilkinshaw Christmas parade attack November 21st. 2021. Woods referred to her son as a caged bird and said that she hopes that the guilty verdicts handed down by the jury Wednesday, October 26, and this case in general will raise awareness of mental health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I think he got Satan in him, but let me resume reading. After delivering for less than three hours, the jury found Brooks guilty of six counts of first-degree intentional homicide for killing Virginia Soroson, Leanne Owens, Jane Coolidge, excuse me, I'm pronouncing people's name wrong, William Halspell, and Tamara Duran, and Jackson Spark. Jackson Spark was the, I believe, six or eight year old child. Mm, mm, mm. All right, what's here? Sparks, when he drove through the parade route after a fight with his ex girlfriend near. Frame Park. He was also convicted of 61 counts of first-degree reckless endangerment safety for the victims hurt in the parade attack. 
the jury also found Brooks guilty of six counts of hit and run involving death, two counts of felony, bailing, bail jumping, and one count of battery domestic abuse. See, just a piece of crap. Just one homicide conviction carries a mandatory of life sentence. So we now know that Daryl Brooks will never again be free. Man, hmm. that's a great thing. Brooks plead not guilty by reason of mental disease earlier this year, but withdrew the plea before his trial began with no explanation. Days before the trial started, he dismissed his public defender representing him in the case. Dressed in a suit and tie, he silently rested his head on folded arm, folded hands as, as the verdicts were read Wednesday morning. Ha 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 ha. At one point, someone in the jury yelled, Burn in hell, you piece of blank. Brooks seduced, seduced demeanor upon the reading of the verdict was a spark departure from the previous days of trial when his sometimes outrageous behavior drew rebuffs from the judge. Brooks got into daily arguments with the judge that often devolved into a shouting match, which it did. At one point, he glared at, at Duran, that's the judge, excuse me, Jennifer Duro, I believe her name is, so intensely that she took a recess because she said that she was scared of his multiple time, multiple times that she moved him into another courtroom where he could watch the proceedings via um, video and she could mute his microphone when he became disruptive. One day after he was moved to the other room, he stripped off his shirt, oh, I remember that, and sat bare chested on his table with his back to the camera. You know what? True clown. But your clown day's over, sir. It's over. All right. One day he built a barrier out of the boxes of legal documents and hid behind it. On yet another, he held up a Bible so no one could see his face on cameras and tossed his copies of the jury instructions in the garbage. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So I'm not going to read no more of this article. I'm going to show you another clip, ladies and gentlemen. So give me a second here. Okay, give me a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this clip I'm going to show you is basically, um, give me a second. Okay, this clip here I'm going to show you, and this was um, an interview that Surat's mother did. That's Dawn Woods. Surat Darrell Brooks Jr.'s mother, Dawn Woods, respond to the son's guilty verdict. Okay, but we're going to do the video I'm going to show before the guilty verdict, okay? Let's get it. Waukesha parade attack suspect Daryl Brooks on the witness stand Brooks's ex-girlfriend Erica Patterson she testified that Brooks physically assaulted her during an argument right before driving his SUV into the Waukesha Christmas parade in November of last year six people died in that attack now Brooks has pleaded not guilty in the case he's representing himself in court and he cross-examined his ex for half an hour today before the judge cut the questioning off after repeatedly having to sustain objections for the prosecution, Brooks was later involved in an altercation with Bayless when getting his COVID-19 test results, which came back negative. Two parade attendees also testified today. And once again, the judge had to shut down Brooks's cross-examination after he pressed both of those witnesses as to whether they saw the plaintiff state of Wisconsin in the courtroom. Why should I sit silent? and let people paint him as a monster and treat him like he's nothing but a sewer rat when I know that is not my son. For the first time since the start of this trial, Daryl Brooks's mom is sharing how she feels about her son, her thoughts on the case, and the message to the victims of that attack. 
Mary Stoker Smith has this exclusive one on one interview. What message do you have for the, the families that are left of the victims who died? I just want them to know that that was not a deliberate act. But the video shows him yeah. going yeah. and not stopping. Yeah. How could, how some people will ask, how is that not yeah. deliberate? I asked him that question. And he said, Mama, I don't know. He said, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. He doesn't know. He can't answer that. I wish the police could have shot out the tires, something. But he can't tell me, and I can't tell you. Only God knows. Is he remorseful? He, 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 we talk about the family often and the victims. And he says to me that he prays for them too, and he has to live with the fact that six people died because of him. He's full of shame. Do you feel responsibility that? Yes. If I would have just not bailed him out, none of this would have happened. If he feels remorse, why the antics in court? The antics in court is mental illness. Is there anything you can say to tell him to stop? I have told him. Will you continue to? I will continue to tell him. Do you think Daryl should go to prison and for so how long? There should be some accountability to what he did. Yes, ma'am. How long? That's not for me to say. That was Mary Stoker Smith reporting from our affiliate in Milwaukee. Daryl Brooks faces 76 charges, including. Okay, Miss. Um, sorry to tell you, maybe you didn't get the memo, Mom, but your son is a sore rat. It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. Dawn has no true remorse or empathy for the victim. Her tears are for her sore rat. She's a clown. Yep. Oh, you see it too, don't you, BG? You see it too. All right. Now I'm going to show another clip. Now this is the recent one, the clip I'm going to show. So give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me stop sharing the screen. All right. The next clip I'm going to be showing, let me set it up. Just give me a second. Is it? Where is it? Ladies and gentlemen, this clip I'm getting ready to show here. Okay, this is after the verdict, what she has to say. Daryl Brooks' mother wants to curl up and die after verdict. Oh, let's pull out the violins. Let's get it. I asked Daryl Brooks' mother, Dawn Woods, about how she felt about today's verdict. Her son found guilty on all counts. Do I think it's fair? No. You know, you know, I don't know why they couldn't go into concurrent sessions. So it just ended. he would not live six life sentences. What do you think he should have gotten? I don't know what he said to say he deliberately killed those people. He did not deliberately kill those people. It hurts more than anything. What do you think he's thinking? Have you talked to him? Did I did, but him? I won't share. Did you talk to him yesterday? No, he called me today mm -hmm. after he got out of court. We talked briefly. We also discussed how she plans to move forward now that she'll only see her son behind bars. Hopefully someone, this will bring awareness to mental illness via our senators and our governors and elected officials, court, police. Very little help is done. 
but individuals who are incarcerated with mental illness. How do you feel right now? Right now, I just want to curl up and die. That's how I feel right now. I just want to go somewhere. Just curl up. But I can't. As long as my child is alive, I have to stay alive. And I asked, will she be at her son's sentencing? And she said, no, it's just too difficult to watch. She wasn't watching today. You said she heard from a friend. Mm -hmm. I know she's in a great deal of pain. She also posted bail for him to let him be out on the streets that day. What are, what are her thoughts on that? I've talked to her before and she said she did feel guilty. She feels a lot of remorse about that. She didn't know the circumstances that led up to it. But certainly uh, this is a woman who's grieving and I think wish Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I don't really, I don't get the vibes from her that she feels remorse. Why do I say that? Because she's blaming everybody else besides her son's action. She's saying it's mental illness. One time she said in the video, I wish the cop would have shot the tires. Um, it's just the things that she's saying. I just don't get the impression that she has remorse about the situation. Let me know. Put in the comment section. Let me know. All right. So we're going to get into it another video ladies and gentlemen yes another one on this one you know her response so give me a second while i set it up ladies and gentlemen and make sure you hit the like button i really greatly appreciate that all righty where are you the mother of sore rats mm -hmm. Give me a second while I set it up, ladies and gentlemen, and you make sure you hit the like and also share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And thank you for everybody who has been, you know, sharing their thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I really appreciate it. I love the engagement. I really do. All right. Let's get into this other one. Mm, mm, mm. All right. This is another one of the videos. It's a little bit long. It's the same interview, but it's a little bit longer. Okay. So let's get it. It sounds like you want to be an advocate. For people need to understand mental illness and understand people who are mentally ill are hurting. They're trapped. And a lot of them don't know the way I will show compassion. The families who have loved ones that are suffering from mental illness a lot of them are ashamed to even talk about it or to say he's crazy and don't want to have anything to do with them but you need to um those people need to help more than anything speak out treat treatment where there is speak up and be an advocate for them and then when you see people out in the streets you see them acting and you just laugh at them joking and you shouldn't wait you know stop and say a prayer because I sent Daryl early on. Let me know if you agree with me or you disagree with me. Don't seem like she's putting the blame on everybody else besides her son. Her son. Your son is the child of Satan. Okay? He's a sewer rat. It is what it is. Okay? He took your car, drove over to ex-girlfriend, Wanting money. She wouldn't give it to him. Beat her up. Then took the car and went through the parade. You know, people need to stop with this mental illness thing. You know, yes, it is a mental illness, but it's more of the devil working with you. Don't have no sympathy for him. There's no help for him. He's gone. She thinks, oh, in her, what I'm getting from her is, this is my thoughts and opinion. I don't break bread with her. I don't know. I don't sit down with her, but I'm just going by these videos and what I read. Her thing is, oh, he just needs a little... A little therapy, you know, just get a little therapy and help him out. Basically coddle him like you've been doing, letting him get away with murder. Mm -hmm. Now look what happened. Let's resume, ladies and gentlemen. And love, laugh, live. Hey, girl, haven't seen a minute. Good to see you. And what did you say? It's an act. Mm -hmm. Lisa, my dear, good afternoon. Now let's get back to it.
a poem written by Maya Angelou called I Know Why the Gays First Sing. And I learned that poem in the seventh grade for Black History Month. And I never thought about that poem again. And the Lord brought us to my memory. Sorry I had to pause again, but I know Maya Angelou right now wouldn't be too quite happy that you're using her poem to relate to your Surat. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think she made that. She thought about people like sewer rats. Mm-hmm. Resume. And I remember back when I was a child, my grandma had a pet piercing named Jerry. And he, I, I remember that so vividly. She would walk to the cave. Hey, Diva. He had a beautiful singing voice. And we all thought Jerry was happy because he would sing and twerk, and his cage is right in front of the window where he can look out in the backyard. And we thought, but then when I, Lord brought that point to me, I pulled it up again, and I read it again. And I realized that Bird wasn't singing because it was happy with that Bird was singing because he wanted to be out of that cage and be free. And I told Daryl, I said, you're this cage bird, mental illness test clips your wing, and the prison bird is going to be your cage. And, you know, no one thought not hear you singing to come apart with their fears. But I told him that, you know, he keeps singing because someone hears him. Hopefully, someone, this will bring awareness to mental illness via our senators and our governors and elected officials, court, police. And when these people come. I know I keep pausing, but I have to pause it. You see how she's deflecting. She's, she's putting the blame on everything else besides her son's behavior. All the excuses, the excuses. This is what I'm talking about. You know, I'm going to let me just play this video and I'm going to start getting, I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions about it because I'm not just picking at her as a mother. I'm picking at a lot of mothers and fathers that's enablers to their children's madness. Mm -hmm. All right, let's resume and then I'll talk about it. Before the penal system, instead of them locking them up, say, hey, what can we do to help this person become? mentally well that's what needs to happen do you think he can get help in, in no very little help is done for individuals who are incarcerated with mental illness that's why i wanted him to go to a hospital where he can still get treatment but that won't be he would be behind prison where he would not get any services if he does it to be very little and it would not be what he needs. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you don't think it was fair what he received today. No. No. But you think he should have done any prison time? Yes. Will you be at sentencing? To no. I already know. Too hard to watch. Too hard to watch. You know. I mean, what's what's to say? You know, we have to move forward. You know, this is just. I um. Whew, hopefully, something good will come out of it. How do you feel right now? Right now, I just want to curl up and die. That's how I feel right now. I just want to go somewhere. Just crawl up. But I can't. Okay. Now let's get into this video. What bothers me is you don't think he deserved what he got. So what do you think he's supposed to get? He killed 
six people. He injured 61 people. Some people are probably so injured so bad for life. They'd be basically crippled for life. She's an enabler. You see, sometimes you know, these parents, okay? All right, we're going to have to get into these parent things, okay? And then I'm going to also show some more clips here. All right, let me see what Rainy Woman has to say here. And good afternoon, Diva. All right, she loves her son, but does understand that he is a born evil. Love, laugh, live. That's what we need to live in life. Exactly. I agree with those words. She probably re relieved in a way because he's done the most. That's a great point. You got a point there. Now, what I'm going to say is, now, like I said, this is all my thoughts and opinions, ladies and gentlemen. So nobody comes at me in the comment section, okay? I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions. Because, you know, I'm not no doctor. I don't, you know, what's with them, breaking bread, and that kind of thing. But sometimes as parents, they become enablers. And they kind of, like, let their kids get away with stuff. They think it's cute. They, you know, oh, whatever, you know, you know, their kids could be beating on their girlfriends, beating on their boyfriends, robbing and stealing always. But then when it comes to a time, they'll just abandon them. Even though they really had this behavior because of you. You never disciplined them. You never raised them and stopped them from acting this way that they are. And this is what I kind of look at it from her. Because like when she said, I don't watch the trial and I'm not even coming to the sentencing. Wow, but you love your son and you saying all of this. But why are you not there for the sentencing? Why not? Mm. It's like she just totally abandoned him, right? But she's acting like she so much loved him and she wants the best for him. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying, if y'all follow me. Maybe not. I don't know if I'm making this, you know, clear, you know, explaining it clearly. But basically, bottom line is, what, um, what does Raina say? Raina woman says, all right, the enabling starts early in life. Exactly. And it does. It does. It starts early. You know, and I think that basically she let him get away with a lot of stuff too much. And then also there was a situation, his nephew. You know what? Let me read this one here. There's another article I can read here for y'all. Let's get a little bit about his mother. All right. Give me a second. All right. I'm going to read this article. And this article came out in, where the heck is this article from? Kanye Daily, C-O-N-A-N Daily. All right, this came out October 29, 2022 at 12 p.m. All right, Don Woods' biography, 10 Things About Milwaukee, Wisconsin Woman. So it's a little bit about her. This was interesting. And um, shout out to Abby NYC. Thank you. Because she was like, see a little bit more about her mother. So I did. And thank you. So I looked into it. One. She lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We know that. She works as a nursing assistant at Aruna St. Luke's Medical Center in Milwaukee and is a personal care assistant in Forderick Hospital in Wisconsin. Okay. Number three. In 1978, she graduated from West Division Senior High School in Milwaukee. The school was later re renamed as Milwaukee High School of the Arts. Four. In 1982, she gave birth to twins, Darrell Edward Brooks Jr., that's Sorat, and Ebony D Danielle Brooks in Milwaukee. So he actually has a twin sister. Hmm, didn't know this. This is interesting. Ebony is the mother of Anjai, Anjai, Anjai Brooks, that's nephew. Okay, number five. On January 25th, 2014, her daughter, Ebony, died of an illness. So his twin sister is actually deceased. Hmm. Interesting. Number six, on April, tw April 13, 2020, she filed for bankruptcy in Wisconsin. Boy, they'll tell you about when you're bankruptcy. Lord, you don't have no privacy in the world. Number seven, on July 24th, 2020, she was living in a four-bedroom house in Arlington Heights, Milwaukee with Darrell. All right, hold it just a second before I finish this. I apologize. All right, let me go back to this article. What I just said. Okay, let me go back to number seven. Seven, on July 24, 2020, she was living in a four-bedroom house in Arlington Heights, Milwaukee with Darrell, that's Surat, and 
and his nephew, that's her daughter's son, Ajad, I can't pronounce his name, when Darrell shot at his nephew in a fight over a cell phone. Can you believe that? He shot at his own nephew. Because I remember hearing something about this, and I couldn't understand about what the nephew, like, he shot at the nephew, fight with cell phone. So what I'm getting is when, the you know, um, Surat's twin sister died, I guess that the mother was taking care of, you know, her grandson. And he shot at his own nephew. Can you believe this? Mm-hmm. And you defending him. You looking out for him. Yeah, okay, let's go on. Number eight. On November 5th, 2021, Darrell was charged with resisting a officer, felony bail job, um, jumping, second degree reckless endangering safety with domestic, domestic abuse assessment, disorderly conduct and battery in milwaukee on november 19 2021 she posted the 1000 bond for him on november 21st 2021 he was arrested after a red ford escape sport excuse me red ford escape sport utility vehicle plowed into a crowd at the 58th annual holiday parade in waukesha wisconsin killing at least five people and injuring at least 40. Well, we know it's six people he died. All right. On December 1st, 2021, a letter to the media, which she signed, said a part that we are not making excuses, but we believe what has happened is because he was not given the help and resources he needed. Well, he needed help and resources. Why you didn't try to get it from when he was little? Because I know his behavior after when he was little. Mm -hmm. But let's get back to it. That was number nine. All right, number 10, the last one. She was 63 years old. She was 63 years old when her son Darrell's trial started on October 3rd, 2020. He was charged with 83 counts on October 6, 2023. She told Fox 6 that he didn't mean to hurt nobody and he knows nothing about the city of Wilkesha. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You being an enabler. Mm -hmm. Just being an enabler. Okay, let me see what else we got here. All right. Love, laugh, and live. I don't absolutely agree with you. Not going to the sentencing, but acting like she supports him. Really? She's putting on an act. Exactly. This It doesn't add up, right, love? It doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. You know your son is a monster. You know you have something to do with him being a monster because you raised him. He was with you. He turned out the way he is. And you just don't want to face the facts. So you think by not going to court and showing yourself and not being there, you could just sweep it up under the rug. Well, I'm sorry. You keep sweeping stuff under the rug, you're going to fall on your face. And let me tell you something. Even though that she's not in jail, she's living a life of jail because I know she's being harassed every day. And especially if she comes out in the interview and she acts the way she do right now. After watching this, imagine you a victim from him uh, um, mowing you down with the car. You lost someone that you love, and he and she's acting like this. You don't think she's not going to be terrorized? She ain't going to be able to go to no supermarkets. Her job, probably the boss is going to try to find a way to fire her because he don't want her around. How many people killed? And you act the way that you do? But that's okay. At least we show you showing your true colors and exactly who you are. Her life is going to be a living hell. And you know why it's going to be a living hell? Because you have something to do with the way he turned out. Yeah. You're an enabler. Let's get into other people that's enablers, okay? That's why I got into when I was doing the Gabby Petito thing. You know, Brian Laundrie's parents is enablers. Because I don't understand. Gabby Petito was living with Brian Laundrie, Correct. At the house, that was his fiance. They went on this 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 road trip around, you know, driving around, which I think is cute. Young couples do nothing wrong with that, right? But your son comes home without his fiance. Excuse me, well, where is she? Uh, uh, uh. And they covered it up. They knew that he killed that woman, and then her and Gabby Petito's family kept calling and calling. Where's my daughter? I want to speak to my daughter. And they wouldn't answer. They wouldn't even give her an answer or nothing. Speak to my lawyer. You see? They was enabling twos. They was able, they was enablers. See, I don't like parents like that. All right. Yes, you're supposed to love and support your child. You're supposed to be there no matter what and stuff. But 
stuff like this you just tell me ladies and gentlemen your son and daughter comes home and they tell you they killed somebody and you like what the hell you just gonna you just gonna be enabler like that and there's another story too and hopefully they're gonna go to trial because i'm gonna cover that one this girl named christian christian bailey i think her name is give me a sec let me see if i can find her let me see if i can find her Oh, we have Abby NYC, and good afternoon. She should have left him in jail from the grandson's issue. Exactly. That may have stopped this tragedy. Exactly. She never should have bailed him out. Why are you bailing him out? And he took your car, too, and did the crime. Lord have mercy. All right. Um, Love, laugh, and live. If she even showed some remorse and empathy for the victims, maybe people would be more understanding. Exactly. But I just showed these videos, right, love? Love, laugh, and live. I just showed these videos. Does it sound like she got empathy? Oh, they're going to get you. You was just best to say no comment. You was best to say no comment. You just buried yourself. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what Rain and Woman have to say. There's something in their eyes. She has her own. She has her own evil. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's like, um, sore rat. You never know. These are all my thoughts and opinions. You never know. I don't know if y'all watch that um Dahmer thing. Did you watch a Dahmer? And I don't want to be a spoiler. I might be a little spoiler right now. So cover your ears for just like about 10 seconds. The stuff that Dahmer did, the father said he had those kind of desires too. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Watch the movie and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Abby says that she looks like a hot mess. Mm-hmm. All right, right, love, live. Mm hmm. All right, let me just. All right, give me all a second here. Let me let me find this um this girl here. Just give me a second, cause I want to follow this trial. Cause this happened last year, just before. Damn, what is her name? All right, y'all gonna have to give me a second here. I gotta find this. I gotta find this girl. I'm going to cover this story, oh my God, to the T, if I can, um, because I know they postponed the trial, and then they said they might not, you know, show the trial, give me a second, let me find this girl, Christian, Christian, what is this beautiful girl's name, young girl, I think she's like 14, 15 when he killed her. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yep, I found it. Mm-hmm. Yep, I found it. I found it. Hold a second. You know what? Matter of fact, I got y'all here. Let me, um, let me show a video. If I had not. Give me a second here. You know what? Let me show this video. I think this will be better. Just give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to get into this one. Why I'm going to get into this one? Because we got another mother that's covering for her pimple face son. Mm -hmm, yeah, I call him pimple face. All right, just give me a second here. Let me show it here. This was a sad story. I don't know if y'all heard about this story, but I remember hearing about this has happened right after before Mother's Day. Oh, this is so sad. But let's just listen to this video, this news clip, and then I'll share my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a second here. Mm-hmm. The pimple face killer. Yeah, we're gonna get into you. If this goes to trial, I'm gonna cover this one. State Attorney Tristan Tristan Bailey stabbed 114 times. This monster stabbed this girl 114 times. And do you know what the mother did? He comes home with blood all over the clothes, and she's trying to wash the blood off. Mm-hmm. Telling him what to say. Another one enabling their child's madness. I, I just can't. I can't with this crap. I really can't. I really can't. But let's get into this video, ladies and gentlemen. 
and you know people's watching the replay share your thoughts and opinions let me know that you hear about this story because if this goes to trial well it's going to go to trial and if they put this live oh yes i'm going to watch this pimple face murderer mm-hmm i'm gonna get into his ass and um my co-host is here the real jack newtown he might not be able to talk too much but he's here all right let's get it Attorney's office disturbing new information in the case against Aiden Fucci, the 14-year-old accused of killing Tristan Bailey. Prosecutors say Fucci stabbed the cheerleader 114 times. Fucci will now be tried as an adult on a first-degree murder charge. A moments ago, the Bailey family released a statement saying they appreciate the thorough and comprehensive work that went into day, to today's outcome. Fucci is being held at a juvenile facility in Daytona. He's being represented by the public defender's office. Bailey's body was found on Mother's Day. Fucci. In pond in the Durban Crossing subdivision, less than a half mile from Fucci's home. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci was at the news conference with the state attorney, which just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. Vic. Kent and Mary, I also got my hands on the warrant here, the warrant for first degree murder charges. Before we go any further, I do want to say one more time, the details here are disturbing. Talking to state attorney R.J. Larizza, he said horrific could be seen as an understatement in this case. He has been working in this jurisdiction for decades, and he says he's never covered or had to work something as horrible as this. So let's go into the details that he released with us. 114 stab wounds. That's what the medical examiner found during the autopsy on Tristan Bailey's body. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear this? He stabbed this girl 114 times. You think I'm going to support this piece of crap? Hmm. Resume. Let's get it. 49 of those wounds were defensive. Now, we were there about a day later when detectives found the knife that investigators say was used in this murder in a pond. We have that exclusive video. I was there personally. This was about 730 in the evening when the dive team with St. John's County Sheriff's Office pulled that knife out. Today, for the first time, we learned from the state attorney that it was a folding knife. So a buck knife is how he called it, almost like a large pocket knife. He also said that the tip broke off that tip was found during the autopsy with the medical examiner just one of many horrific details we also learned that there was a lot of evidence including bloody clothes and bloody shoes at aiden fucci's home that home right around the corner from where tristan bailey's body was found in the woods which happened to be right next to that pond where the dive team recovered that knife that home also part of the crime scene, detectives case that for more than a day. Now, R.J. Larizza, the state attorney for St. Augustine, says he is disturbed. He is horrified by the details. And there is no doubt in his mind or anyone else on the case that this is first degree premeditated murder. The bottom line is that premeditation could be inferred, certainly, from just the sheer number of stab wounds that Tristan Bailey had to suffer. Every time, every time that arm went back and every time that arm went down, that was premeditation. And it happened, if you times 114 by two, that's 228. But it's not just the fact that she was stabbed 14 times, 100, 114 times. It's also information that we were able to, to glean from witnesses. The defendant made statements to several people that he intended to kill someone. He didn't say who that was, but he indicated to witnesses that he was going to kill someone by taking them in the woods and stabbing them, which are certainly the facts of this case. And that I had to pause this. BG, I can't with you, girl. I really can't. Dawn has dead eyes. She needs to wash her hair and remove those dirty lashes. She's a clown. 
I can't. I can't. Lord have mercy. I love you, BG. I agree. Let's resume. That news conference where we learned the new details came out. Uh, it lasted for about 15 minutes. R.J. Larizza, the state attorney, as well as the chief detective, Detective Skip Cole, uh, they were very open about the case, but they did not elaborate on the motive. They said they're still working on that. They're still trying to find out what, what happened, happened leading up to I this horrific Texas, murder. I'm as far sure. as Aiden Fucci, the 14-year-old behind all of this, according to investigators, right now he is at a Department of Juvenile to investigators. 14 year old behind all of this, according to leading up to this horrific murder. As far as Aiden, if y'all see right, I kept rewinding. That's I, that's his mother, I believe. It's on the top, right? Crystal Smith, that's the mother. If you see the picture on this on the right, that's his mother, and that's his father next to in the courtroom because you know at the time with the heavy COVID and stuff like that okay let me go back to the video i'll resume it what happened leading up to this horrific murder as far as aiden fucci the 14 year old behind all of this according to investigators right now he is at a department of juvenile justice facility two counties south of us at daytona beach but now that he is charged as an adult and he is charged with first degree murder, he is going to be transferred to an adult facility. We don't know if that's going to be here at the St. John's County Jail, which is a block away from where I am standing, or if it's going to be somewhere else because of his safety and because of the notoriety of the case. But they say that they will let us know he is going to be rearrested on that first degree murder charge. He will be booked into jail. He's going to go before a judge once again, and that'll probably happen within the next day. So we will keep you posted on that as well as the other big developments in this case. For now, we are live in St. Augustine. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Vic. And uh, Tristan Bailey's family issued a statement following today's update on the case. We each have copies of it. And we're going to read it to you. It says, we appreciate that today's outcome is directly the result of the thorough and comprehensive work from the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, along with the 7th District State Attorney's Office as part of the initial steps to bring justice for Tristan's murder. We would like specific, we would specifically like to recognize the Criminal Investigations Unit of the SJSO. We greatly appreciate the tremendous community outpouring from all parts of the world, particularly for those in St. John's that have helped from the Mother's Day search, the vigils, remembrances, and memorials with the press conference sharing details of this heinous crime, the caring and love shown from the people and businesses to raise up the memory of Tristan and the resolve of our community serves as a beacon of light in the darkness. As shared in the celebration of life on the Battle of the Two Wolves, it helps us to feel Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section. Did y'all ever hear about this this story at all? All right, let me go back. To, I'm going to show another video on this one, too. I wish I had the video of this showing her washing those pants with the blood on it. All right. Love, laugh, and live said, trust me, this boy will never survive in jail. They are going to make him wish he's never been born. The devil. Exactly. I'm going to show you the clip because after he killed her, it was just like, it was all a joke with him. When I heard this, I said, you got to be kidding me. Peanut butter jelly time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peanut butter mm -hmm. jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hit that like. Hit that like. Oh, my God. And Crystal says he won't last long. Oh, yeah, he won't. Oh, so it's Florida. Okay, thank you. Thank you, um, love. Clear me up on that one. All right, what else does Crystal Queen say? Adult prison will get him one way or another. Mm-hmm. BG says, another bad mom. Ada's mom was arrested to hiding evidence. Clown. Oh, so you heard about it too. Yeah, she was arrested hot, trying to hide evidence. Are you kidding me? What is going on with these parents? Brian Laundrie's parents need to be arrested. I'm sorry. Because when he came home and didn't have their fiance, they should have did something about it, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. Your life is going to be a living hell. You can't even order Uber. You got to be careful because somebody might spit in your food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said it. Yep, 100%. All right, what else did uh, BG say? Aiden and his mom can share a cell. 
I can. And throw Dawn in there too. And let's put the laundry parents to mommy and daddy. Put them all in a cell together, all of them. Yes, bad moms. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't get me wrong. You know, sometimes you have parents that, you know, do a phenomenal job, their kids. And I hate to say it, your kid was just born flipping evil. They just eat. They turn out to be crap. You did everything. You raised them in the church. You was nurturing. You was caring, trying to give them the best education. Always make sure they had a hot meal in their stomach. You know what I'm saying? You do all these things. They turn out to be a piece of crap. You know what I'm saying? Things like that happen. But when you see this, when you start to be an enabler and you, you, you know, you support this madness, it's only going to get worse. Like I said, watch the signs with your kids in middle school. Watch how they act. Are they lying all the time? Are they stealing all the time? Are they disrespectful all the time? You know what I'm saying? For example, you know darn well you just stole that book off the shelf. You saw them do it. They'll just sit there and say, no, I didn't do it. I just saw you just take all the books. You know what I'm saying? There's something wrong. So when they acting bad like this, want to hurt animals, that's another sign and stuff like that. And they're not growing out of it. They're starting to hit like 16, 17 in high school. And they have the same behavior. It's getting worse. You got yourself a problem right there. You have yourself a problem. And it's only going to get worse. And wait till they get into their 20s. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what to tell you. They're gone. But a lot of these parents are enablers. You know, being supportive to this crap. Well, it's my child and I have to be here and be loving and understanding and supportive. No, you don't have to be supportive to this crap. Not at all. Hmm. All right. Let's see what um Rainy Woman have to say here. That young girl was so full of like, oh my God, she was gorgeous, cutie, beautiful. I love her cheekbones, doing cheerlead and everything. I guess Pimple Face was upset because he can't get nothing pretty like that. Mm -hmm. Probably undercover young boy incel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. I missed the news with Dawn. Oh, you missed that. Yeah, it was in the beginning. I was showing the um, Sewer Rat's mother. I was just jumping into other parents out here the same way. So I'm not just picking on Sewer. I'm picking at all the parents out here, mommy and daddy, that support this crap. When the evidence is right there, you see the tape. Oh, you never heard this story? Oh, yeah, I heard about this one. And the trial supposed to be coming up, but I, I don't know if they're going to make it public. If it's going to make it public, I'm definitely going to follow this one. Because when I heard Rainy Woman that she took those pants and she tried to wash it to hide evidence, I said, oh, my God, we got another one. Mm -hmm, just like the laundry family. Uh, Chris, you're welcome. I knew the area well. I used to live in Central Florida for years. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to show another video on this, this just Tristan girl. Yeah, I know. Probably like, why well, I keep showing it? Yeah, I'm going to show it because my channel's about teaching you. So you need to see this. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me show another video. Wait a minute. Can I find it? So just give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Where is it? Where is it? Beautiful girl. Which one am I gonna show? I'm gonna actually show you two videos. Y'all just hang in there. If you need to leave, I understand. We used to perform live on All right. I want to focus on these these mothers out here that's being enablers. It really it really bothers me. Mothers and fathers, not just mothers. You got fathers doing it too. Uh huh. Okay, have another video. Let's show it. Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. New surveillance video released in the Tristan Bailey murder investigation. It shows what investigators say is her accused killer, Aiden Fucci, running in the middle of the night. The surveillance video was recorded the night sheriff's deputies say Fucci stabbed Bailey to death. It was Mother's Day when the 13-year-old's body was found in a wooded area of the Durban Crossing neighborhood in St. John's County. 
News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris is going through the four videos just released by the sheriff's office. Janice. And I've had a chance to look at all of them. One video shows 14-year-old Aiden Fucci running from out of the woods where deputies say Bailey was found dead. And another video shows Fucci's mom washing a pair of jeans. It appears to be the same jeans that got her arrested for tampering with evidence in the investigation. Tripping, dude. According to investigators, this is video of Aiden Fucci after his schoolmate Tristan Bailey had been murdered on Mother's Day. Having fun in a cop car. Fucci on the ride can be heard saying, having fun in a cop car. Bailey's body would be found on Mother's Day. Just hours before Fucci was in the back of this deputy car, Fucci is seen running. This video is at 1.52 in the morning of Mother's Day. St. John's County Sheriff's investigators say the person that was running is Aiden Fucci. Another video at 3.31 in the morning shows what appears to be a boy walking to a door barefoot holding a pair of shoes. A second image shows what appears to be the same person walking up to the house. This final video takes us inside Aiden Fucci's home. His mother is seen inside of a bathroom washing a pair of pants. Fuji's mother, Crystal Smith, would be arrested for tampering with evidence in Tristan Bailey's murder investigation. And we will continue to follow the story and bring you more footage tonight. I found the right video. Did you see that? You see, you did y'all see the footage of her washing the, the, the pants, the jeans, right? This pimple faced murderer. Mm -hmm. So you supposed to support this? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Mm, mm, mm. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. All right. Enough talking about this one. Um, Christian Bailey, as her name is. I Hopefully it will be public, you know, with the trial. Because I'm definitely going to follow this pimple face murderer. You piece of crap. Yeah. Mother's Day. Just before Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. I think they found the body. I think that's how it went, um, Crystal. They found the body on Mother's Day. So he killed her just before. Stabbed a hundred something times. Monster. You going to hell in a handbasket and your mama going to hell in a handbasket. Brian Laundrie's mother and daddy going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, um, 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 Sewer Rat's mother, Dawn Woods, going to hell in a handbasket. All y'all. So instead of trying to be a track star, he's running to and from committing crimes. <laughs> I, I, don't, I should be laughing, but Brady woman exactly. You saw him running, right? Just running. And they were saying that he planned to kill somebody. He had this desire to kill. Just like um, I think um, yeah, just like um Love says, just like they did with Dharma. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, so you seen the Dharma too. They was being enablers with him. Cause grandma, uh-uh, honey, you know the house is smelling. Why you ain't go down since you knew something was happening? So you was being an enabler, grandma, and dad, too. I'm sorry. Anybody who didn't watch, I don't mean to be a spoiler. If you didn't watch, I apologize for that. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to show another video of the trial. We're going to go back to um, Sewer Rat. I got a little time here. We're going to go back to Sewer um the sewer rat. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, if that you know that trial comes out in this public, I'm going to be following that. So, if y'all interested, hey, just watch and stuff, because I really want to get into pimple face. Got the nerves to kill that girl like that, stab her a hundred and something times. Are you flipping kidding me? And your mama sitting there washing the pants. Oh Lord, I just can't. I just can't. All right, let me show another video here. Where is it? All right, let's go back to Sewer Rat. Mm -hmm. All right, back to you, Sewer Rat. Now, this right here, I don't understand why the judge just ain't tossed his ass out of the court after this one. But I mean, at the end of the day, he did, you know, he lost the case. But, whoo, lordy, lordy. All right, give me a second here. To act a little slow here. Yeah. 
this scene right here. Let me show this video. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Mr. Brooks. I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear that work, and I heard that. This on, is. Want to run the record back? Mr. Brooks. So I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear that work, and I heard that. This on, is man. to benefit on, you, so that no, you not. understand Ain't your witness to me, so let's as a prior record. Your Honor, when I leave the table, I'm away from the courtroom, and I have to elevate my voice. This is the so alleged record of Abel Lescott. Stop okay. talking. Come on, man. Like, I don't okay. know who y'all be thinking y'all fooling. I set the value return for value this uh, document. One more interruption and you're going to be removed to the next courtroom. That's what you want to do anyway. It's not what I want to do. Do not interrupt Attorney Opper. So can Your you Honor, tell, I can believe you he has seven prior criminal convictions the OWI 2nd from 1997, an OWI 3rd from 1997, an OWI 4th from 2003, criminal trespass to dwelling from 2006. Right, I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. And we're taking a break. When I seen that stare down, ladies and gentlemen, first thing came to my mind was, if he wasn't shackled, he would have jumped across that and tried to kill her. He would have tried to kill her. This man is pure evil. But, you know, mama, mama supports it, right? You know, it's just mental illness. It's just mental illness. Everybody want to say it's just mental illness. But let's, let's just face it. You know, not everybody with mental illness do stuff like this, okay? Let's just face it. This is the, the child of Satan. Mommy and Daddy laid down, and they had Satan Jr. by the name of Daryl Brooks Jr. This is Satan, which I call Surat. Why do I call him Surat? Because if he was here in the beginning, the first video I showed, when the mother said, I don't like that they treat my son like a Surat. Well, how are they supposed to treat him, ma'am? Help, help us understand how they're supposed to treat him, what he just did. Mm -hmm. How we're supposed to treat him. Mm -hmm. I missed that memo. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Sure did. All right, let me look at this comment. It's just albino sewer red. It's not sewer red. <laughs> albino sewer red. Yes. His mama, his mama looked like a trans. Jack, there was some other pictures you would have seen and you would say the same thing. I'm just saying. I don't she, that was her. She, don't, she don't look like a woman. Or whatever, whatever that person is. Mm. All right, let me see this uh, other comment here. The judge acted accordingly, even if it was hard to watch. It would have ended in a mistrial if you didn't play out the way it did. I know what you're saying, love, laugh, and live. You got a point. But gosh, he was really showing himself every day in court. I mean, everything is on the record. Everything is recorded. Everything is typed down. I mean... But there yeah, you got a point. I guess she just didn't want no mistrial. But the way he was acting, I don't even see how it was possible to be a mistrial. But oh well, sore rat. You had your performance. The curtains is down. It's done. You know, but what I'm waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, I'm waiting for this one in. I can't wait to see when um when the victims speak. Now, I'm definitely gonna cover that one. If they have that with the victim speak, that is gonna be so interesting. And he has to sit there and listen. So they're going to have the last word, sore rat. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Now, what else? let me go back to the comments. I think I missed something here. All right. And then, um, what else, Rainy Woman said? The only reason why he, ha he hasn't killed or hurt his mother is because he's able to use her. Bingo! Rainy Woman, you hit it a nail on the head. Yep. That's what you usually do when they kill their parents. They kill their mother and father. When they can't use them no more, when that gravy train is done, they kill them. They'll sit around here and plot. And I was just talking about that the other day. They'll start plotting when they can't get nothing from you no more. That's what happens. If you stop giving them money, you stop giving them shelter, um, bailing them out and stuff like that, they'll turn around and kill you as soon as you stop. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. Because if this man was released, let me tell you, my thoughts and opinion, everything's my thoughts and opinions on here and stuff. So, you know, nobody come at me in, in the comment section. But I personally feel if he already got out, 
he would have killed his mother and he would have killed his ex-girlfriend because due to the fact that he looked at them as it's their fault why he's in the predicament that he's in because he doesn't have no empathy he doesn't have no remorse people like this sociopaths they feel entitled he hates black women yep probably that too probably that too let's let's get into this one here what is a sociopath a sociopath has little regards for another person's emotions, rights, or experiences. They lack remorse for other actions, and they act in a way that shows no regard for others, including lying, cheating, manipulating. Some people with this condition aren't very sly about their conduct. Others are quite deceptive. Now let's get into gaslighting, which he did a whole lot in the, in the courtroom. Gaslighting, gaslighting to the max. Let's get it. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which the abuser attempts to sow self-doubt and confusion in, the vi in their victim's mind. Typically, gaslighters are seeking to gain power and control over the other person by distorting reality and forcing them to question their own judgment and intuition. Yep, and that's what he was trying to do in the courtroom. Killed these six people. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. All right. Let me see what else here, other comments we have here. Um, Donna, you're absolutely right. He has said his rights were violated. Yeah. That's what he says. Rights are violated. Are you kidding me? What about what about these people's rights over here? They had the right to live. You're not God to decide for them to die. Are you kidding me? When I was I saw a video of the woman he hit. One of the, the dancing grannies, love one of the dancing grannies. She hold it on. He hit a, he, she hold on the hood of the car for dear life. And he just kept driving. He's sticking his head on the side of the, you know, the side of, uh, out the window because he's trying to get by the drive because he couldn't see clearly because she's on the hood. He didn't even stop. And you support this, mom? Mm hmm Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, um, Jack, you was here in the beginning, but, um, she has, a, um, a sewer rat has a twin sister, but died in 2015. All right. What is it? He's an expert again. Yeah. He, he probably oh. killed her. Mm, we don't know, right? We don't know nothing. Um, he's an expert against like, yes, love, he is. Narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, that's their thing. Hysteronics, you know what I mean? That's their thing. They just, and borderline personality, yes, they just love to gaslight. That's their whole thing. That's a mind control. They want to control the situation. They want to mess with your head. That's why you realize when you're being gaslight, get out of there quick because that can cause PTSD too when you're being gaslight for a period of time. That's why some people, you know, when they get older, they, they suffer from, um, you know, anxiety, PTSD, you know, certain things, paranoia. It has a lot from dealing with your childhood, what you experienced. Okay. So what is it? <laughs> Popcorn. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Um, I think I want to show one more video that I'm gonna let y'all go here. Let me see. Was it another video? I apologize. Let me see. Just give me a second, ladies and gentlemen, until I try to find it. All right, let's just watch this video here. We'll go back to our books with him being entitled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the entitlement crap. All right, just give me a second here. Why is this playing this song? Let me ask this one. Each count charges a separate crime. I'm sorry, y'all. Just give me a second.
so much of this clown here. <laughs> yeah, let's watch this one. Mm -hmm. With the, the in entitlement. All right, I'm going to let y'all know, ladies and gentlemen, this is like 14 minutes long. If you need to leave, I completely understand because I did hold y'all up here for a second. But I just wanted to show some more of this man's entitlement. Okay, now this video here, I'm going to show. It's like about 14 minutes long. So like I said, if you need to leave, I completely understand. And this one here is um, Daryl Brooks makes emotional opening statement in own defense. Put out the violins for Surat. Mm -hmm. All right. And whoever has to leave, thank you for being here. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for being supportive with this whole thing. Watch this video and stay tuned for some more of Donna Just Being Real. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like out if you why you leaving out if you didn't hit it. Now let's get into this sewer rat. Let's get it. The defendant will now make an opening statement. The purpose of an opening statement is to give the defendant an opportunity to tell you what he expects the evidence will show so that you will better understand the evidence as it is introduced during the trial. I must caution you, however, that the opening statements are not evidence. With that, go ahead, sir. Um, obviously, I don't have any uh, rehearsed or well, well-prepared speech, so I'm just gonna speak from the heart. Um, I would just like to first say that uh, I want to bring to remembrance something I, I think everyone in this room has been taught uh, pretty much as far back as we can remember is that there's always two sides to every story. Um, and for so long now, uh, roughly a year, there's only truly been one side told of this story. And uh, you know, I've sat back and watched uh, from countless narratives that, that, that's been put out there, um, the way this incident has been portrayed at times and uh, Finally, uh, everyone getting a chance to get the full story. Um, you won't hear me try to uh, argue facts. Um, the fact is that this incident was tragic, very tragic. That's not lost on me. Um, facts are that um, there's still a lot of people healing, um, a lot of families healing on both sides. What does he mean, both sides? What does he mean by that? That's what we call entitlement. It's about him. Both sides. There ain't no both sides. There's only one side. He doesn't have no remorse. Yeah. It's poor for him. That's why I say, you know, pull out the violin, Jack. Pull out the uh, violin. Boy. I know. Resume. And when I'm confident that uh, the evidence will show, I'm sorry, I'm getting. Yeah, um, Crystal, this was the, um, you know, they have their closing arguments or whatever and stuff, their closing statements 
about you know everything that was presented in the court. So now he's trying to plead to the jury, pull out the violins and um the jury, so they can un- understand him, have empathy because he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Yeah, really. Let's get it. Resume. Get a little emotional. I'm confident. I'm a little emotional. That the evidence will show. Is that this incident was not planned? This incident was not intentional. And this incident was never even thought about. It's easy to I'm sorry. Just need a second. Uh. Those crocodile tears he got. So gangster now, are we? Think is uh it's easy to look at the magnitude of something like this and form paints. I think uh, it's easy to disregard a lot of a lot of factors. I agree with you, love. Mm-hmm. Look at him. we both feel sorry for him. And I think uh, look at sore rat crying. Look at those tears. Earlier, it's, it's you look like a light skinned gremlin. The other side of the coin. I love it, love. I love it. it there's been a, a lot of suffering involved in this incident. A lot. Obviously, um, with the families. Messing with that fifteen-year-old girl. With the community. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you sicko. And uh, and then got her fifteen-year-old girl pregnant too. Even the alleged, the alleged defendant's uh, family as well. There's, there's been a lot of suffering. He's a he's an albino Robert Kelly. A lot of misunderstanding. What did you just say, Jack? He's an albino oh. Robert Kelly, R. Kelly. I can't. And, uh, <laughs> he just can't sing. I just can't rap worth a damn right either. Now. Yeah, that little stupid little rap thing. That See another one at that 30 something. We just turned 40 trying to be a rapper. Yeah. I'm not pushing yeah. 40. Yeah, shucking a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and look at his yuck mouth. I think uh, um uh, um PG left a comment. Look at his yuck mouth, everybody. Look at oh, burnt right. lips, all that weed, flat, tart, everything. You talk about, you talk about the purple lips. Yeah, the purple lips. He got it. Look at his teeth. All that weed, smoking, drugs. So I bet you he think he's fine because he light skin. I'm light skin. I'm fine. With with the, re- with the receding hairline. <laughs> yeah, with the receding I mean, hairline. Uh, but he's fine. You can't tell him nothing. With yeah. his little ugly ass dreads he has. Broken yeah. up dreads. Yeah. <laughs> that should escape your, your knowledge. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that picture. He think he fine. Look at him. This is this has been a long process for, for everybody. Well said, what thank I you. Is, uh, well said. When it's time for you to make your decision, all of you. What rain and woman said he's turning beat Clean color, it. trying to force emotion. <laughs> I can't, I can't. And I pray that it's the right decision. <laughs> That all the factors are weighed. <coughs> There's it's been a lot of words thrown out there. About the alleged. Want to eat healthy on the go? A lot of speculation, a lot of ridicule. Words like demon, words like monster. Exactly, Crystal. Time is up. Ha ha ha. Hold on. Did, did, he, did, did he just say that? Did well, he I'm just? He, did he just say what I just? What I just heard. Oh, let me go mind that part. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh my God. This guy's delusional. Oh, goodness gracious. This guy's a weirdo. I know uh, a lot of the time I've been before you, you've you seen me with this mask on. I've had my reasons for that. But I feel now is the time to. Yeah, you need to put your mask back on permanently with your yuck mouth. Your burnt weed smoking you drug see who I am. No mask. No mess. I am. I am a man. Oh, Jesus, this help me. Pray that your uh, your eyes and ears remain as open as possible. I understand that you alone decide this case, this matter. power is in your hands, all of you. To determine for yourselves 
with true fears. Thank you. And do we have their writing materials available? All right. Thank you. Mr. Brooks, you ready to call your first, would be your second witness, actually. <laughs> Love, Laugh, Live says, an Academy Award goes to Daryl Brooks for his pathetic portrayal of a victim in this real life trauma. I can't. <laughs> Resume. You need a minute? Take a short break. Um, I'll rise for the jury, please. We'll be with you shortly. Why are these narcissists, social baths, and all of them always want to have a Bible around? Always want to preach the word of Bible. You see that? Do y'all see that? Mm. Yep. Uh, mm. Resume. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you all uh, another clip. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah I'm going to show you another clip. Ooh, what ring was a girl? I just finished finished chicken and waffles again. God! Oh, girl, that sounds so good. Well, I had salmon, and I made a beautiful spinach and avocado salad. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That chicken and waffles sound good. I think I'm going to try to make it myself. Mm -hmm. All right, um... What else? Crystal Clean said, going to give a judge a bad stare, then cry out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's crazy. He needs coke. Yup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crystal girl laugh. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, what else? Raining woman says, you know, the Bible wants to open up and slap him with a scripture. Oh, yes, yes. Gas lighting on steroids. Well said. Well said. All right, let me show some other, something else crazy in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just watch the madness. Mm -hmm. All right, listen to the music while I um find another one of these clips. Oh, let's see the rudeness. Okay, let's watch this clip here.
Okay. Da, 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 da. Mm -mm. All right, this clip is Are You Done? Rude Daryl Brooks Interrupts Judge. Mm. Let's get it. Mr. Brooks, I don't know what you have planned for your closing argument. Uh, so I'm, I'm making a request, the same request. May I be able to put up? Uh, well, exhibits? I guess it depends on what it is, sir. So I'm not going to take up any more time because what I intend to do is um, once the state goes through its closing, I may take just a short comfort break, depending on how long it is. Um, and if there's something in particular, OK, Crystal, you, you will need to tell me what it is. As long as it's an exhibit from this case, then I don't I wouldn't have an issue with it. They would be from this case, obviously. Is this not nothing that the state had? I'm not aware of exhibits that the state wouldn't have that you would have. Everything that's been received, we have a list. Um, so if it's not something that was received during this trial as an exhibit by the court, unless you tell me what it is so that I can make a ruling, um, I, I can't see how it would be relevant or appropriate for your closing argument. There, uh, um, love, let me see if I can find it. Oh, the quick. filings have no relevance. Let me see if I can find You want me to find the, the, the video? Closing let me see what I can find. Just give me a second. While this play, I'm going to look so for something for you. Let me see what I find. Arguments so that when they go back to determine the issues in this case, which are related to whether you're guilty or not guilty of the 76 charges, um, things like subject matter jurisdiction or uh, like that would not be something that would be proper before this jury. Those are legal issues that the court would decide. The jury is the judge of the facts. The court is the judge of the law. That's I'm why not, I have all of these jury instructions to give to the jury. I'm not referring to subject matter jurisdiction. What are you referring to then? Be very specific so I, I can make a finding. And I was specific. Uh, my other filings. That That's not specific enough, my, sir. What are you referring court, to? Which filing? My, Ladies and gentlemen, I picked up the speech at 1.25. Not but specifically. Um, are you done? Love, do you want me to... You said, Miss Donna, do you have footage of the vehicle he was driving? The photos are quite telling. Sir, that's very rude. I think I have a video you can sh I can show you. Are you done? Right. Which? What Your Honor, how come every to? time I try, even when I try to err on the side of caution, you, you find some way to make it to be something that it's not. I didn't know if you was going to say something else. I've asked a question, sir. So when I do that, I would hope it would convey to you. I'm looking for an answer. So which filing are you referring to? All Let's my filings, this. all my filings, my, my, uh, my notice of appearance, my statement of particulars, my bond, the court docket sheet, all of those filings. The request to display those to the jury is denied. It's not relevant. How's it not relevant? Not even your That's my determination, office? sir. So I'll take, I am going to start this. Not even your oath of office can be shown? No, that is not relevant to these proceedings, sir. It is. It's not relevant in front of the jury. Why is it not relevant? Can you? Mr. Brooks. Can you explain you why that's not relevant? You are going to be able to raise those types of issues and present a closing argument based upon my oath of office, whether I'm licensed to practice law in the state of Wisconsin. I said your uh, oath of office. I didn't say anything. Whether you consent to this appearance or not, none of those things help the jury determine the issues in this case, which are related to whether you are guilty or not guilty of the 76 charges that have the been jury, the jury filed should in know this that, case. They should know the truth in their duties, in their rights. They should know that at least. Mr. Brooks, I'm putting you on notice that if you continue with this um, insistence upon presenting information that's not properly Who just came through the back door? Pink case, lady? <laughs> and I happy Saturday to you, girl. Good to see you. To mine, and potentially ask the jury, have the jury leave so that I can admonish you. And if you keep insisting on that, sir, that will be a, in direct violation of the court's direction. So they can't even they can't even know that I got a shock device on my ankles. They absolutely do not need to know that. Why so it's not? not relevant to the determinations of guilt or innocence in this it's case. It's the truth, Mr. Brooks. Your custodial status is not on trial here. Uh, I would no, argue that it is. Your conduct from November twenty first of twenty twenty one is that hasn't on trial. been proven. You may not bring up. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what these sociopaths and narcissists do. They always very argumentative. They always combative. They always have to argue with you. You know what I mean? And they love to argue with people that has highest positions. She's a judge. 
he wants it to prove to him to prove to her like i'm smarter than you i'm better than you this is how they live their life this is what they do they're annoying that's why one thing about me i don't feel like arguing with people because when you argue with a fool you basically becoming a fool too just shut it down when you sit there arguing with somebody you realize you're not getting anywhere they're not trying to hear you out they determine because they feel like they 100 right just shut it down walk away don't argue just a waste of energy because this is what they feed off of they want to get you riled up they want to get you all upset this is what they love so you know what don't give them that energy all right don't give it to them at all and a happy saturday to you pink lady Rizzo. your the way that you've been shackled it's not relevant sir it's and if you truth. do so you do it at your peril but it's here's there, the there thing is the no jury peril. is it's my right no, though let me let me go okay it's my constitutional is, right just like under the first things, amendment sir, which i know. preserved the, my first amendment right when i came in this morning i also preserved my right. sixth Brooks, amendment right please stop you do not have an unfettered first amendment right that is very clear based upon what do you mean by unfettered law. what do you mean by unfettered it, I don't. it is not absolute it can be restricted so the constitution of the united states can be constricted all right mr brooks i'm putting you on notice that if you continue with your insistence on raising issues that are i'm going to raise issues that the jury needs to are, know they're not regardless issues. because they're 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 under the rights of the united states constitution mr. which brooks, is the law I of the land your attention to clothing instruction for six i'm going i'm going to, to let the jury point. know the truth their their duty and their rights under the first amendment and under the sixth amendment i have the right to inform them of Sorry, I keep pausing again, but yeah, it's true, right? Paying money. And I noticed that a lot here on YouTube with these, you know, tubers arguing back and forth. All you're doing is, is just giving them energy. If somebody says something to you, one of these tubers and stuff, just don't pay it no attention. Just keep moving. That's what they want. They want that energy to get you riled up so you can make a video talking about them and they talk back at you and you go back at them. You know, that's mental illness. Don't feed into it, okay? That's the devil working on you, trying to lure you in, all right? Don't be arguing with people that's mentally insane. There's something wrong with them because you're not going to get nowhere. You're going to end up losing your mind. All they're trying to do is to gaslight you, to get you riled up and get you upset. So don't feed, them, feed into them. The best way to do, kill them with quietness. Just shut your mouth up and keep it going. Always stay a gentleman, men. And ladies, always stay classy. That's the way to be. Resume. Of their rights, of the truth, and of their duties. Under the First Amendment and under the Sixth Amendment. Of the Constitution of these United States. Exactly. Yeah. Keyboard warriors. Don't say law. Can <laughs> that. Do you think I'm going to feed into them? No, the jury comes out. Because I need no, to I do not. That's why I'm addressing this before they before they come out. That's why I'm trying to address this before they come out. So it doesn't become an issue once they're in here. But under the First Amendment and under the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution, which are rights that I preserve, the moment we stepped in here this morning when this proceedings started, I preserve those rights for the record. And now you're telling me that those rights are not, would you say, unfettered or fit? I don't know what you say. I don't even know what that means. I don't even understand that. But any law repugnant of the United States Constitution is null and void. Mr. Brooks, I'm putting you on notice that you can also uh, forfeit by your conduct the right to present a closing argument. In appropriate circumstances, um, the right to present a closing argument, no different than the right to testify, may be subject to forfeiture where your conduct is incompatible with the assertion of the right at issue. The goals that this court has attempted to follow throughout this proceeding are multifaceted and multifold. Uh, number one, I do have an obligation and I have done my best to ensure that this is a fair trial. However, a fair trial does not mean a defendant has unfettered rights to state whatever he wants, when he wants. Uh, this court, not only through the course of the trial, uh, is deemed with the responsibility to control the presentation of evidence to as to ensure fairness and reliability of the criminal trial process. Um, it also includes uh, ensuring that the closing arguments are relevant, are appropriate. Um, this Into immune is our all natural immunity. In this courtroom. Before the jury's brought out, can we address subject matter jurisdiction, Your Honor? Before Absolutely the jury's not. brought out. Absolutely not. 
is that a tacit agreement that you don't have to answer those questions as a public servant, Your Honor? So are you going to act in dishonor? Mr. Brooks? Are you going to act I've in I've already addressed your request. It hasn't been proven for the record, Your Honor. It the jury be. is on its way. They're not out yet, though. But they're on the way. You me I'm not you addressing me these matters, before. sir. Have I, have I acted in dishonor, Your Honor? You held me in contempt without me being in dishonor. How, how have I dishonored the court? I know have he was a pain in, in the rear in school. Have I rose my voice or argued with your honor? In elementary school, middle school, just annoying. Always yeah, arguing with the teacher. Couldn't request. shut up. Disrupting the class. While people try to learn, he don't want to learn. He want to be a clown class. A class clown. They weren't even out before when I was trying to address what needed to be addressed before they came out. Am I acting in dishonor? Am I acting in dishonor? So that's a tacit agreement that you don't. The jury, please. It's a tacit agreement that you don't have to answer questions as a public servant. Right? All right, the jury. No, no jury's out, Mr. Brooks. No jury's out. I was trying to address Brooks, this before they, are they right came outside up. the store. I am not going to do this with you this morning. You either abide doing, by these rules am I and stay quiet, am or you will be in the other courtroom. Am I acting in dishonor? Yes, you are acting How? in dishonor. How? You are disobeying the direct order of this court to respect the decorum and the dignity of these proceedings. You are merely attempting to delay. I don't care what you think. That's not accurate. Mr. Brooks, I am having this jury out. And, and if you and you're say making, one word when that door opens, you're making a tacit agreement. Then you will forfeit your right to be present. So you're acting in dishonor, then, Your Honor. All right. The jury may come in. You're acting in dishonor by making a tacit agreement that you don't have to answer any questions as a public servant. You're not holding up to your oath to protect the All Constitution. All right. The door is open and he's talking. Okay. So you're going to hold me All in right. contempt? The jury cannot come in. Never mind. Are you going to hold All me right. in contempt? The, Mr. Brooks is going to be removed. <laughs> We're in recess until that. How am, I, how am I acting in dishonor? He just won't shut up. He has to prove his point. See, this is how they are. They always think they're smarter than everybody else. All right. People, he says, you got the right. I see this all the time. Mm-hmm. I was. He's just stalling. Mm -hmm. He think he's smarter than everybody in that courtroom. Mm -hmm. Sure do. All right, let me show this video. I hope this is the one that you was looking for, love. This is, I think. He's a smart dummy. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Where am I at? I think this is it. I agree with you, Jack. Oh my gosh, I agree with you. All right, let me um. Okay, hopefully I got the right video. Where is it? Nope, not that one. Yes, that one. I think this is the video. I want to see this will show with the parade. Oh my gosh. Um, is this the video? I think it is. This can warning alert. This might be too much for you. So if you need to leave, you don't want to watch it to see him taking this 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 sewer rat taking the car through the parade. I completely understand if you don't want to see this video. But I think this is the video show with the car. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get it. The uh, egg, uh, exhibit seventeen. The squad video. That's the one you're requesting. The squad video. Uh yeah, uh, exhibit seventeen. All right, permission to publish exhibit. and show is granted. Thank you. 
Pause it right there. So at the time, we see you uh, running over to where this uh, white, I think that. <laughs> oh, the damage. Truck. Okay. Is Let that me you? See if I have that one. Hold a second. Yes. At that time, had you uh, heard the vehicle honking? I don't recall. What prompted you to uh, move so quickly to uh, jog towards the area that you were jogging to? The radio traffic that I had heard. So at that time, did you see a vehicle approaching? Wait, wait, I, I still want to play that. At that time, did you see a vehicle approaching? From my position here, I don't know exactly when I had observed the vehicle. Continue playing. Pause right there. Would it be fair to say that that was not just a horn that was heard honking after the vehicle was past you? I did not hear a horn, no. We'll wind it back. For the record, Your Honor, the first time Mr. Brooks asked for the video to be paused, it was 22 seconds. The second time, it was about 39 seconds. We're now going back to about the 30 second mark. Objection. There isn't 39 seconds in the video. It stops at 37. So how could it be 39? I'm sorry. You're absolutely right, sir. 29. I thought you said 39. I can hear. I can hear a horn. Sir, you can't testify. So you can ask a question of this witness. We'll watch it again. When? But at some point, you can't argue with it. Let me ask this question. When did you observe or hear the vehicle honking? At which part in this video? At no point in this video do I hear the horn honking. But you did, in fact, hear the vehicle honking. Yes. Do you remember what what you were generally doing when you heard the Okay, I think I found the video on. that you're talking about. I'm going to cut this one up and change the other video. Making my way to the north side of Main Street to get the vehicle to stop. So that would be when you were sprinting over to the white pickup truck. Correct. That's when you heard the vehicle honking. Sometime in between there, yes. And you heard it multiple times. Yes. All right, uh, Mr. Johnson, um, 67, you testified was an overview photograph? Yeah, it's an overall photograph of the... Um, overall, they're now being shown to the jury. It's proper, it's foundational as well. Go ahead. Yes, this is a overall photograph showing the location uh, of the vehicle, but specifically also showing the front end damage of the vehicle. All right, next, 93. 
Please describe. Uh, a close up. <laughs> a close up of the damage that has been sustained on the front uh, hood area, bumper area of the red force gate. Next is 68. Objection. Overruled. Mid range photograph showing the damage, front end damage, specifically from a reference point of the front passenger corner of the vehicle. I observe on the bottom of that photograph there appears to be some liquid substance on the ground. Do you see that, sir? Yes, I see it. Overruled foundational, the witness may answer. Do you remember seeing that substance at night? Yes. Were you able to tell what it was? Objection, straightly to you. Overruled, based upon his training and experience, he may answer. Not specifically what type of fluid it is, but some kind of engine compartment fluid. From this vehicle? Yes. Okay. Number 102, please. A mid range of the driver front quarter panel, um, also showing what I describe as a white headband, headband on the broken driver door mirror. Is that illuminated in some fashion? Just yes. leading. Overrule to witness my answer. Just a reminder to wait until I fully rule on the objection before you answer. Oh, yes. yes. How was it illuminated? Objection leading. Overrule. It has white LEDs that are within the cloth and they're blinking on and off. Okay. And then last would be 103. Objection. Please describe. Oh, I'm sorry. The objective. Um, overrule. Go ahead. An overall from the um, further into the driveway showing the back end, the rear end of the red force gate. All right. You see that vehicle? So that was the one that you want me to show, love? I in, in saying one night alone in a hunt. Okay. Pause here. Pause. Uh, what um, Pink Lady said? You didn't see that one, huh? Mm-hmm. The damage to that car. That was his mama's car. Yeah, that is terrible. Totally terrible. Okay, what is it? Yep, definitely a psychopath. Mm-hmm. Narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, all of above. He got he's he's all of them. Mm-hmm. All right, what does love says here? My heart aches thinking about what happened to those people. Exactly. Holding for dear life on that car. And he just passing by. Don't care. Don't care. He didn't care. Mm -hmm. He didn't care. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. All right, I'm going to show a uh, last video. I know I keep saying that one, but uh, I'm going to show this last video here uh, of him lying when he just got arrested. Let me see if I can find it. When he just got arrested. Hopefully, I can find that clip. Mm -hmm. I just can't believe the guy. Love, you remember the guy that let him in the house? He gave him a sandwich? Looking like that? Ringing your doorbell at nighttime? You let him in your house? Give him a sandwich? Go give him some shoes? Oh, I couldn't even believe that when the guy was on the stand, what he said. All right, let me try to find that video. Well, not that one. I want to show him lying. <clears throat> The interrogation. Yep, let's let's watch this interrogation. Mr. Brooks. No, that's not it. Okay, let's watch a sociopath in his in his glory of lies. Mm-hmm. Police tell. All right, the people that's coming, and we just basically we already discussed about the mother that was earlier. 
So if you want to rewind it, watch the replay, you can catch that. But now we're just basically going through clips of what was happening in the trial. So this one we're going to watch here is an interrogation mm -hmm. of him just lying. Looking like a light-skinned gremlin, you sore rat. All right, let's get it. It was still daytime. It was still daytime. Yes. Okay. Well, there's still a lot. Of when you left Stephanie's, it was still daytime. It was still daytime. Yes. Okay. Well, there's still a lot of people out. It was still. It was still people out. Okay. It was still people out. Um, not a lot in that area. By the park, it was a lot of people out. Okay. Like I said, it looked like something was. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> But it was a lot of people out, and it was people, like I said, it was oh, people. Yes, it was older couples walking insane. down the street. It was younger people walking down the street. People were like an event or something was going on. I, I don't know, but it kind of seemed like it was a lot, like it was something going on to where it was vibrant because it was a lot of people everywhere walking everywhere. up and down the street. Everywhere, it's people, 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 people. That's why I'm saying, like, if I got into a fight with her right there, it would be so impossible for somebody to not be like, hey. This guy's fighting this chick, or whatever the case may be. Like, it, how could somebody? Welcome, Johnny C. Nothing in the world would cure evil like him. He had no remorse in the court. Facts. He wasn't sorry for the victim, so he was sorry. He was sorry that he didn't get away with it. Exactly. Facts. And welcome to Donna Just Being Real. Talking facts. Resume. Not see something. How long was it be between leaving Stephanie's and those cops yelling at you at the door of that guy's house? Was it dark when they yelled at you? Yeah, by the time they came, it was dark. Okay. But we had been sitting out there. We had been sitting out there for a minute, me, me and the guy. We were sitting right there on the porch. We were just sitting there. Let's talk about long. the sandwich guy. Uh, Maybe all, maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe. Okay. It wasn't long, long, but it was, it was long enough for, like, cause like I said, he let me use his phone. We sat on the porch. We were sitting right there, just like this, just sitting on the porch. While I caught, called me an Uber. I called the Uber. I said, look, man, I, I let him know. I said, look, I ain't trying to rob you or nothing like that. Cause when I knocked on the door, he kind of was like, whoa. I'm like, look. I don't got no weapons. I'm not trying to break in your house. I'm not trying to rob you. Nothing like that, dog. I just need to call an Uber. That's it. Shipping for holiday gifts this year is going to be a little. I'm not, you know, he was just like, okay. I'll come out. Boom. I, yo, I need an Uber to, yo, what's your address? He told me the address. And we was just sitting there waiting. That's how I was gonna get back home. I told him I said I got I got the money on my car. I'm not asking you for no money. I just need to use your phone. That's it. That was it. That was all. And then from there, we sat on the porch and just shot the shit out. I'm saying you told me last night he was cool with that. Like he wasn't. Yeah, like, it wasn't being weird. He wasn't. He was just like, oh yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, we just sat there on the porch. And he asked me. He did ask me. He said, do you need a jacket? I said, no, I'm straight. Like, I, I be home, as soon as the Uber come, I know it's probably going to cost me <laughs> probably like $40 to get from me. I'm guessing. I don't I don't know, but mm -hmm. probably, but I had enough on my car to where I knew I can get home. And that's that was the main thing. I'm like, I'm just going home. She can keep the money or whatever. I didn't even try to contact her further. I just was like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm calling yeah. Uber and I'm going home. That's it. Let me ask you this, Darrell. So you weren't out. You weren't out in Waukesha Saturday, just Sunday. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Nothing physical yesterday. Um, like I told you, you're a part in the investigation. There's a lot of parts, right? In the investigation, there's investigation. We talk. Right. Well, this domestic abuse thing I'm telling you about. Right. Okay. okay. So wait. Hold on. Let me. Oh, okay. Let me go. I'm sorry. 
I just had a about, question. But you talked about being a you know a religious man, right? I can do better. God. I can definitely do could. better. We all could. I'm not. We all could. That's I'm why. Different. That's why. See, yesterday was a mistake. I should have just freaking watched the game and just yeah. fucking went home, right? Because uh, that's the thing. What is? What do they teach us in Christianity? Ladies and gentlemen, do you notice the difference of his tone of when he talks to men than he talks to women? How he treated that female judge, the prosecution, the women. But when it comes to men, it's a whole different tone, sir. Mm -hmm. Reason. Darrell, that's what they teach us that we're broken. Right? We're sinners. Even when we're born, we're born sinners. We're broken. That's why Psalm 51, so 17. thankful for God's grace and forgiveness, right? When we ask for it, um, even though we don't deserve it. But when we ask for it, he gives it. All right? You're a father. You got three children, 18, is it 18, 14, and 7? Yes, sir. All right? You got a mama that raised you well. And a God you, you believe in. Absolutely. Right? This monster has an 18 year old son. What he said, 14 and 7? Mm, mm, mm. Resume. And all of them are, here's the thing the law want is to tell that you're telling the absolute whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Absolutely. So help you God, right? Absolutely. Sound familiar? We've all heard that, right? Um, and I just have concerns if I fact check that Darrell's not telling me the truth. You don't have a car, so Marcus had to bring you out. You don't own a car, your mom doesn't own a car, right? So Marcus had to bring you out. So why did we find you with a car key in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. I don't even know where they said that was laying on the ground. That's yours. Yeah. It's it's yours. It should have been by my ID. Yeah, it's yours. It's your car key. Okay, because it goes to a port escape and your mom's name recovered in Waukesha. Okay. Listen to Ralph. I'm trying to be as open and honest with you as I can be. You know, I'm Christian too. And believe me, I'm not perfect. And neither are you. And I'm not calling you a terrible man. I'm not saying you were out yesterday hunting and just let me finish. But you did not walk to that house. You didn't not walk to that house. You did not come here in a tan Kia. You didn't. And who? You did not come out here in a tan Kia. Okay. You've got a key in your pocket. You have a car, your mom's name. Okay. And that key works for that car. For the love of God, Marcus. For yourself, for your family, you know what happened yesterday for the people. Tell me what happened. Well, what? With the car. What am I being with your mom's for? car? You're driving goofy. People call you in. You drove out of there in your mom's car, the red car. You're driving a little silly, probably because you're pissed. You met up with Erica in the car at the park. Now, initially, I believe you told us the gas station. Do I have that right? And then you changed it to the park. So that's an analysis. No, I see it. The house was by the gas station. You, when you said, you said, what was by? You said you went, Mark. and it was by a gas station. That's where you met her. No, 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 no. I said I met her at the park. Okay. At Creek. Met her, you said. You met her at the park in your mom's car. A red Ford Escape. She got in. You talked. And what you're telling me seems pretty consistent, that there was nothing physical between the two. No, I didn't. No. But you met her in the car. I didn't put my hands on her. Nothing but like you that. met her in the car. Can, what's going on, man? Asking you a question. Just be. You were out there just driving kind of crazy. crazy. On, Some man. people said you were driving kind of crazy. You got reports of it. You got the key. You got the car. Did you take the car or did your mom give you the car? I know you know what car I'm talking about. I just want to know. <laughs> so, 
So people not more than all those okay, people no, 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 reported that no. car driving had been erratic. I, I know what you're saying. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We all been straight up with each other. You knew it was more to what you was asking me yesterday. Mom, I'm so proud of you. No that would sure. explain that would explain the FBI and all that, right? They're not here today. So if it's that big a deal, you don't see them here today. Come on, Kurt. We been we been. Just met in the car. In the we been cool, yeah, man, right. the whole time. If I did something, yeah. if I did something yeah, wrong, that's serious. why they were here. But do you see them here today? They're not here today. Yeah, but. But y'all lied to me, man. You made it seem like they just come for no reason. Well, here's the <laughs> thing, <Ralph. laughs> This, like, is, what is, this, is, today. this so, man is pathetic. See, uh, this yeah. is how these yeah, sociopaths and narcissists are. They full of crap. You lied to us as well. Because you came out here in the Red Ford Escape. Okay, that is what you came out here in. You had the key. Right? So what I want to do is try to give us all a chance to reset. You see what I'm saying? Start over. Because you're not giving us an accurate story. You didn't ride out with Marcus in a tan car. You said your mom doesn't have a car. I've just told you we've disproven that. All right? I don't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know what you all have been through. But you were seen in the car driving kind of driving kind of acting a fool, okay? And basically the same area that you've already been able to describe to me. I'm just trying to figure out how and why it happened. What made you tear out of there? What made you so mad where you're like, fuck it, and you raced on out of there? And then people call, man, this guy, is, he's driving around here kind of fast. Oh, yes, love, I see it. Mm -hmm. And I definitely see the difference of him when he oh, talks to the know. man with men than he do with like women. Y'all mm -hmm. being cool with me. Am I charged with anything? That's all I want to know. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Right now. I, I'm listen. I was you were driving a bit so listen, might be I was so, uh, listen, listen. No, I don't drink. That, 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 you that said you had a couple cold ones during the game. No, nah, yeah, I, yeah, but I'm saying the hard alcohol is not my thing. I was not drunk when you get the blood. Uh, what love said <laughs> you see that reverse psychology yes i did yes i did all right um what else oh you say hi to um pam my name all right what else did love says he showed little to no respect towards the judge here he's trying to reason and converse with the officer yeah you see the difference right that's what i want to show that the difference mm -hmm. piece of crap you're a sore rat. Yeah, that's right. You're a sore rat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had y'all here for like over two hours and stuff. I guess I need to stop showing the clips. But, um, because I could be showing clips all day with this clown. Oh, my gosh. But you got to see the interrogation. You got to see the car. And thank you, love, for telling me to show that one. Because, actually, I didn't even see. I saw, like, some of the pictures, but I didn't see that full video. That full video. And we discuss about the mother and also with me throwing in that, that Trish, Tristan um, Bailey. That was the last name with Bailey. That's really sad. But I'm going to definitely get into that pimple face. Um, Poochie guy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get into his pimple face ass. If that thing is public, oh, yeah. If they do that trial, it's public. Oh, definitely. And another trial I want to cover, too. But I think they postponed it. And I don't know if it's going to be public. Do you all remember the two beautiful angels that was missing in, in California? The West Boys, Orion and Orson West, 
and now they they dig the hands of their own foot the hands of their adopted mother and father mm, mm, mm. so sad it's so sad all right so ladies and gentlemen um let me just read these comments here uh purple heart thank you thank you thank you all right what crystal said okay 100 percent uh what did love say god bless you donna just be real that was a great show you're the best and you're the best too hugs and kisses be beautiful it's good to see ya always good to see you homie papa always good to see you yeah you remember right uh-huh so hopefully they're gonna um crystal they'll show that you know they'll be public that's gonna be hard to watch those two little, and crystal those those two boys wasn't wanted from the day they was born their mama and daddy didn't want them then they go to foster care. They was adopted. And then they died by the people that adopted them. And the, and the mother, the biological mother, what's she trying to do, Crystal? She trying to get some money. Now she's trying to sue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wasn't trying to get your child back, were you? But now you're trying to get your money back. Get some money. I tell you, you just don't know. These parents sometimes, boy. Not every parent deserves to be a parent. But every child deserves a good parent mm -hmm. just heard that yesterday all right got my purple hearts love it love it love it and um ladies and gentlemen you make your make sure you have yourself a great and a blessed weekend and stay tuned for some more of donna just being real and where is the thing at all right everybody had a great one bye